Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today it is a new start on the channel. We're still carrying on with the Hitman stuff, but today we are going to be doing something completely different. Um, one thing that I've been super excited for for so long and I cannot believe that it's here and ready to go. I have no idea how it's going to go. I have no idea whether the PC is going to cope with it or not, but today we are going to start Starfield at last. I've been on holiday for the last week. Um, Starfield dropped whilst I was on holiday, so I wasn't able to get on the immediate hype, but now we're here and I cannot wait. This looks so fun. I'm so excited for it. Um, so thank you to the Xbox uh, or PC Game Pass uh, for allowing the free download because it's just wicked. I cannot wait to be able to get into this. I cannot wait to be able to kind of experience it for myself. I've seen a lot of people playing it, seen a lot of people having fun with it, and now it's my turn to really enjoy it. And I hope you guys are along for the ride too and you enjoy it too. I hope you guys have as much fun as I have or will have with this, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And as always, guys, if you enjoy the content, if you're on the Starfield hype train, make sure to like the stream below. Make sure to subscribe and to hit that notification bell for any upcoming videos, because those upcoming videos are likely to be things like the continuation of our Hitman series and Starfield and so on and so forth, as well as the odd uh, stream here or there. So guys, you really don't want to miss it. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I don't want to talk too much. I kind of just want to get right on into it. I'm recording these as separate bits today and possibly doing even more recording. So, uh, yeah, keep your eyes out and uh, let's let's get into it, shall we? <clears throat> let's see what happens. Bethesda Game Studio presents... Starfield. Soul date May 7th, 2330. Argos Extractors Mining Outpost Moon. Something something. I don't know. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Okay. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah totally. Yep, it's sounds good. Like, um, yeah, I work in the Star Dock, except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very oh, nice. Helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep Fair talks. play. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. Oof. Not untrue. Shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. <sighs> Hell, after this. We'll have enough junk we fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so this is the cycle cool. repeats itself. It already looks really yeah. good. No more and the PC doesn't look like it's going to explode yet. He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, right. most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good Dusties. feeling about you. Right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you. <laughs> promises, promises. This looks absolutely insane. Okay, okay so this is literally just like our intro. How are we on time? Yeah, PC looks like it's coping well and everything's on ultra, so this is pretty cool. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger yeah, that. no, this looks really good. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady. Big jump. And never take that helmet off down here. All okay. Don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. You know what I love what happens if I press E to talk? Okay, the individual is busy. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. This is really cool. 
Everything looks like it's running really well. It's using up a little bit more time to render the frame, but still. This is wicked. I'm loving like I, I know it's only just walking through the first bit, but this looks really cool. No ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein? This is dope. I love this. This is so cool. You know what? Starfield was one of those games that when it first came out, or when it was first being spoken about, I wasn't all that fussed by it. I was like, eh. It'll be what it'll be. Now it's out. I'm like, mm, okay. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Right, let's have a look. How they suck are you to join? With a fancy pamphlet? Oh, okay, that's cool. Graphics wise, it looks really good. I'm busy. What else to bother? You're ready, boss. I mean, I know I've got it all up on Ultra, but still. Well, sorry, just gonna step in your way. I am watching the, uh, <laughs> the PC like crazy, but it, it's definitely worth worth watching. Just in case my PC suddenly goes boom. But actually, it doesn't seem all that intensive at the moment. The only thing that's been a little bit funny is the average time to render frames. Other than that, everything's running like an absolute dream. See what happens when we get out into the big bad world, but yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. Ooh. I don't. You don't? A spike in gravity well, readings. You'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Ooh. Okay, now what are we after? It's just another job. Come on. What are we after? Again. Like I've said with many games before, can we please have a way of not just having to follow very slowly on? I think yeah, everything is just all in seriously. Uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Okay, so I'm gonna die. Let's go. Oh, I can run. Uh, flashlight. Hold. There we go. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess oh, that's a good thing. this is fun. I feel like we're about to run into something we really don't want. Oh my days. What on earth? Um. I assume I'm mining it. Nope. I'm taking it. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What the fudge? Out of it. Yo, dude, what? That was so pretty. Oh my days, I'm so looking forward to this Come game. On. Come on. I'm so okay. looking forward to this game. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. <laughs> know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? 
Here we go. Right, character development time, chat. This is what we were after. It looks like something out of Stranger Things. Oh, this is awesome. Finn Bella, hello. Either way, I've got to go Jinji in the end. Awesome character development by the looks of it. And you can go as wild as you want. Shamefully, I'm a bit of a, a boring scrub when it comes to that. Oh, man. Hello. Look at that Tash. Look at that Tash. That's, that might have to be my vibe. Just change the hairstyle on top and we're good. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Oh, okay, that was just that button. Okay. Um, This is dangerous. Allowing me to choose like this is not a smart idea. Because I just go, muscular! Just go straight up like Dench. Or I could go Finn. Or I could go kind of... He Ooh, no. Somewhere in the middle was kind of nice, but let's go... Let's go about there, shall we? Maybe one up. Yeah, why not? Oh, no. Body type one. Walk style. That's a le that's amazing. What? <coughs> I'm sorry, chat. Yeah, a bit more of a paler skin complexion if we're being realistic. Skin tone. Probably about two. Head shape. What? I've got a bit of a round head, to be fair. We'll go with that. Right. Want to change the hair. I know that much. That's fresh. But it's not accurate. Oh, look at that. Right. Yeah, back out a bit. You're a bit too close. There we go. And to be fair... That might be the call. Just make him ginge. Let's keep going through, just in case. No, no one wants to be Justin Bieber in this situation. Right. Yeah, I think that, that haircut that I found was the call. That felt right. By this point, you really are a bit, a bit messed up. Right, let's try and find that short one again. Near here. There we go. Hair colour. I want to go gingy. Boshed. Found it. Facial hair, I'm tempted just to leave like that. Yeah, mate. There we go. Right, eyes. I kind of just... Leave the eyes as they are. Like, There's no point playing around with eyes too much, I don't think. They need to be blue, though. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with seven. We'll go with whatever seven was. There we go. Eyebrows, eye colour. Make them look really weird and keep it the same. Why not? There we go. I am slightly pale. Right. Um. Bam, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh. Oh my days, there is so much to go through. Beast Hunter, starting skills of fitness, ballistics, and gastronomy. Bouncer, you are a boxer, security and fitness. <coughs> Bounty Hunter, piloting, targeting, control systems, and boost pack training. Chef, gastronomy, dueling, and scavenging. Combat medic. Pistol, Certification, Medicine, Wellness, Cyber Runner, Cybernetics, Diplomat, Explorer, Gangster, Shotgun Certification, that's hilarious, 
homesteader, industrialist, long hauler, pilgrim, professor, Ronin. Oh, there's more. Wait, what's Ronin? Oh, that sounds fun. Sculptor, soldier, space scoundrel, or you can make your own. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go with... I'm kind of tempted to go with Bouncer, but I might just go with Beast Hunter at this point. I want to have the ability to be able to use a weapon well. That's what I really want. Like, I don't want to be struggling for that. So maybe Beast Hunter is just the right place to put it. Or Soldier. Maybe Soldier. Hmm... Chat, what did you go for when you did this? What was your criteria? What did you want to fulfill? Did anyone make their own profile, if that's what this is? Fitness is either way really important. So, it's kind of between... Mm, it's kind of between Bouncer and Beast Hunter for, for me, actually. I might just go Beast Hunter. Right, traits. Alien DNA. Dream home. Empath. Em, empath extrovert. I'm going to go with extrovert 100% every time, all day, every day. You've earned the attention of an annoying fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. On the plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. Nope. <laughs> Uh, alien DNA, you volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien DNA, alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with an increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. Ooh, that's a big, big cutout. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 1,000, oh my days, 125,000 credit mortgage. Whew. I'm good. I am good. Freestyle Collective Settler. There's always going to be two sides to it, isn't there? I don't want to have the the, the wanted. Taskmaster, occasionally if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below 50. However, all crew cost twice as much to hire. Ooh, that's a stinger. You grew up as a member of the Sanctum Universum. You gain access to a special chest full of items at Sanctum Universum in New Atlantis, but lose access to the House of Enlightened Chest. <sighs> Raised Enlightened, you... It's basically the switch, isn't it? You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue and better rewards um, from some missions. Crime Bounty on Neon. Crime Bounty by other factions is greatly increased. Your parents are alive and well, and you can visit them at their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. Get out of here. Oh, it's really hard to know what to go for, because there's so many which have... have, um... really big payouts. Oof. Grav jumping provides temporary boost to oxygen. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Should really choose a religion. I'm gonna go with Enlightened. <laughs> and I'm very tempted to go with Alien DNA. Let's do it. Let's do that. Let's just go with that. Yeah. I think that sounds like a plan. And we'll finish up there. Um, I mean, we'll just call him Pastor. Pastor Ben. It's boring, it's not fun, but these these are the adventures of Pastor Ben.
pronoun, name, character. Oh, whoops. Hello. Confirm. Got Let's go! That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but hey, we got time. So let's carry on. This is awesome. I love this. This is really cool. Do about an hour chat. See how we go. I, I feel like I want to do more, so I might just record like loads of videos today and just say we're done with that. Um, and then I've got them all set and ready to go. But uh, There was this light in music. It was an incredible dream or a vision. Everything... Is a blank after I went into that tunnel, or what is that thing? I mean, it was incredible. So I'm gonna go with that. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience. But it was an experience, Ma. It off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be. What was that? Speak of the devil. Press mouse free to switch between third and. Ah, there we go. <gasps> Look at me, Chad. Look at me. I like the fact that I'm slightly off to one side. Our constellation contact is on approach. Although I, I actually. Oh, there, there we go. I'm even further out now. Oh, I'm a chunky boy. I am a chunky boy. I might go back to first person, though. I quite like the first person view. There will be op I think there'll be opportunities for me to go wider, but... Dude, this is awesome. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Uh. Okay. Equip a helmet. Select the area in the lower right. Out oh, inventory. Select the helmets category. Press and hold tab to exit. Beautiful. Now I have my helmet on. We're going on a journey, folks. This is where I'm afraid the PC might blow up a little. But hopefully not. Everything looks like it's running okay at the moment, so... Yeah, everything looks like it's running well. Keep it running, then. Oh, you could jump high, bro. Gravity obviously isn't as strong here. It's either that or I've got those dense legs. I get the feeling when we get into space, it might be a different story for the PC. The PC might then look at me and go, what are you doing? Why are we doing this? is one hell of a ship. Look at that. That looks awesome. We going in? Nope. You're coming out. Ship looks dope though. Barrett. Hello Barrett. You hanging back? Okay. Barrett? I want to hear what's going on. What is that? That mine on Finzi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Okay, I really want to pick up on the story of this. Now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. Yeah, I did. Right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Finzi? Kazal, and no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. It weren't nonsense. Yeah, you right saw now. what I saw. Went on a trip, huh? 
You could call it that and find nothing to talk about. How would you know about that? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Yeah, but how? Look, just hand over He's the an interesting fella. And I'll be happy to never see this thing or you ever again. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. I want That's to keep it. Uh oh. There it is. Hold off the pirates. Let's do it. It's fight time. Wait, hold on. Do I not need to change my weaponry? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the cheese and biscuits? Whoa. This is very big. I don't think this is going to do any damage, is it? No. Right, how do I... Aha! I for inventory. There we go. No, no one wants the cutter. We want that. Okay, okay. Just tab out. Just tab out. <laughs> oh, hi! Die already. He did the hurdy hurdy on me. Oh my gosh, the shooting is so good. I'm getting absolutely mullered, but the shooting is awesome. Ow, you bitch. You've got to be looking at them headshots. This is great. And I'll tell you what, it's all running well, too. Where do you think you're going, big boy? You're done. Uh-oh. By pressing O. Yeah, let me take him out first. Oh, zero. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Weird button calibration, but oh well. Did you see Lynn? Ramp straight at those That was really fun. That was awesome. Of course. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? What visions? Coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. If they can tell me what this artifact is, of yours is, I'm in. If you take me off this damn moon, or uh, sign me up. I didn't wait. Uh, what const? What is constellation anyway? No, I don't care. Although, actually, yeah, let's ask. You ever stare up at the stars at night, wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Nice. Okay, fine. Um, let's let's Marvelous. do it. Let's do it. I don't trust him, but let's do it. I don't trust Barrett one bit, but I'm I'm down for it. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me. Why is it always me? <laughs> Fine, it's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, well, that's uh, kind. That's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary. Okay. Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. <laughs> very well. <laughs> hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. 
And it even tells the time. It's my watch. Yo, bro, I got my watch. This makes me really wish I got the collector's edition because I'm actually loving this already. Hey, this is awesome. I'm. I, I know we're not very far in, but there is a feel to this game that is just fun. Press tab to exit a dialogue when you're done asking questions. Let's start with the bottom one. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Ah, you're a scavenger. Okay. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. Who are you? What's Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider of course it's moment. not. <laughs> of course it's not his. Besides, I'm making an exception. So Thief! You can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is Fair only enough. getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Sounds like a plan. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> right. What's his name? Vasco. I genuinely thought he called him something different there. Right, on the ship we go. Let's get the hell out of here. I think my camera is good up in the top right as well. Oh, dude. This is this is dope. What? I knew that they said they were going to do that, but still. Okay, that's awesome. I want to give it a really convoluted name now, see if it can do it. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, sorry. Dead space dead spot with my mouse mat. I need to give it a give it a clean okay this is this is gonna end really badly but we're gonna do it anyway this is what's likely to make my uh, PC go a bit nuts holy crap this is cool Up, up and away! You know what, it's kind of annoying that it's a cutscene into space. Because you kind of want that one consistent flow. Equally, it's really cool. I can't believe how well my PC's handling it, actually. Now that we are in orbit, it might be Whoa. To test all controls and systems. Okay, to this is really cool. On the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process. Where was the planet I was aiming for? There it is. Although that does not look friendly. Uh, hold left alt and use WASD to switch between systems and allocated power. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grav drive. I'm not going to do that because I feel like I really do need to learn how to use it. We're getting a lot closer to that planet. I'm going to turn around a little bit. A yep. ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down yep. as you adjust the throttle. We got it. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. 
Yep, got it. We're in. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay, that was cool. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage without a hull. This is so cool. Why is there a red dot right there? Hull damage is below it. Right, so what am I doing? Oh, it's the sh yeah. Okay, cool. It's the shields and what have you. You've proven an adequate pilot. Only adequate. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Okay, this is cool. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is. Oh, I don't want to stand up. No, sit down. You dumb dumb. This is where I'm going to struggle. Where did he go? Oh, he's really quick. Oh, I tried to fire a miss missile at him. Go. Where'd he go? Oh! Right, I should probably chase him down, actually. Got him! Okay, that was fun, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Just being real. That was fun, though. We search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. All right, I'm getting there. No, you dummy. I do like how you can get out of your seat though and wander around. Uh oh. It's that one that I want first. Oh, my aim is so bad. There are going to be people out there going, what is this? Oh, I did not want the enemy missile locked on me there. How do I avoid that? Ow, I don't. Come on, keep turning. He's weak. Ah, uh, dead spot on my mouse mat. One gone. You, sir, are indeed next. This is really cool. I love the spot. Like, I don't usually like space fighting. I like dog fights. It's not normally my kind of thing. I just purely because I struggle at it. This is really good though. Has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a 
Perfect staging area for pirates. Where are we going? Does it say where? Oh wait, press tab to open the data menu. From there you can open the star map. Uh, burp, burp. Hold on, there was a quick way of doing that before. There we go. So that's where I want to be going. Travel to Crete. Set course to Crete. Yes. Right, spin myself around. And we go. 2,000 years later. Whoa, whoa. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, star map. Back it up. So I'm trying to get round the other side of that. It's got to be a quicker way, hasn't it? No, because you've got to scan it when you get closer, so... Where am I in relation? I mean, I'm definitely... Am I still just there? Nah. That can't be right. That cannot be right. Because if that's the case, I have got a very long way to go. Is there a way of fast travelling? Oh, you're kidding me. I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! There we go. There we go. Right. Uh, press tab, open the data menu from there, you can access the star map. The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view, then select the map icon to land there. Okay, this is a cool way of doing it. So then you don't actually have to have the skill to be able to land it properly. You can go from planet to planet without worrying about that. That's really cool. Now I've figured it out, it makes perfect sense. Right. I'm assuming that it's safe for me to get out. And you can exit your ship straight away. What the hell is that? Okay. Oh, I like how it's set on the... Oh. 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 Oh, well, they look fun. What's the gravity like? Whoa! That's where I figure I'm being chased. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Oh, what the hell? There it is. Oh, dude. Vasco is really helpful. I'm liking Vasco. That's really cool. I like the fact that there are little obstacles along the way. Vasco is a real helpful hand. Why not? 
We are pretty much there. This is insane. If that big thing there moves, I will freak out. Oh, hold on, I've still got my torch on. I don't need my torch. Hmm. Thank you, Vasco. How do I put away my weapon? It's got to be a quicker way of putting it away. There we go. Fists! <laughs> I like how the doors open out kind of towards you. That's really fun. First impressions are this is awesome. I'm loving it. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective Space. Bad people, bad jokes too. <laughs> you can literally take anything. Like everything is up for grabs. Really cool. Oh, hello. There we go. This place seems very abandoned. Kind of creepy. Oh, I haven't actually been taking things from it. I've just been opening them. Wow. That's hilarious. I should have kept my weapon out. Where did you come from? Vasco, where's the help? Uh oh. I need weaponry. Take a rescue axe, maybe. Could be handy. What's he got? Gravity plus helmet. Credits. Yep, cool. Reload. I should have really thought about the fact that there was probably going to be an attack. Okay. It's it's not the game jibbing out, by the way. It is the fact that I have a mouse a dead spot on my mouse mat where it just... Yeah. It's, it's not fun. I need to get that sorted. Mm-mm. Well, that sounds bad. That doesn't sound good. Starlog board game? Is that a coffee machine? <gasps> coffee! Frag grenade and frag mine. Don't mind if I do. Okay, not gonna lie, Vasco is really helpful. Vasco is probably more helpful than anything else. Damn it. Right, hold on. Uh, 
That does less damage. That's 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 sad. But I need to fight with something, so. Right, it definitely doesn't. It's just got a faster rate of fire. Whoa! Check if there's anyone else around. The enemy is here. What the it hell? Exploration requires so much bloodshed. <laughs> I love him. There is nothing nearby. I'm now out of ammo. I don't want to have to do hand-to-hand -hand combat, but I will if I have, have to. Or I could just let him deal with it, but you know. Right, hold on. Oh, crap. Please avoid getting shot. You might I would if I could. Oh, hello. What is that? Equinox. Okay, we're giving that a go. There he is. That'll do. Just got to actually make sure you hit your target. That's so annoying how the mouse keeps doing that. I kind of want them just to walk down the stairs. Pop them off one by one. Unless Vasco's already done the job for me. You appear to be prioritizing our deaths over your own survival. That was weird. What the hell are you doing, bro? I need to get this mouse mat sorted. It's either that or it's the mouse that's jibbing out. There is no enemy nearby. None? Systematic wandering. It's getting worse. I'm going to move things over a little bit. See if I can fix it that way. There we go. That feels better. Grendel? I don't know what that is. And I don't want the jumpsuit. I'm detecting a safe nearby. Jesus! Crying out loud! <sighs> Why is there a jump scare in every game? Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select the key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key into the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Oh, I see. So it's when they all match up with something. Oh, that wouldn't there we go. Mm. Okay, we'll undo that. Because something there didn't work. I thought it was pretty perfect, but... Is 
Turns out I was wrong. Because I thought it was like that, wasn't it? Oh, this is... Oh, no. Right, restart. No, I don't think I have another digi pick. I don't. But this is weird because it was set completely right. Like, I had got in, I think. I now don't have a digi pick. But some of these were set in better places. Oh, there we go. That's why. So that definitely went there. That one's a nice, simple one. There we go. Now I've got the hang of it. It's just this one I now need to figure out, which is there. Got it. There we go. That took me a little bit too long, but we got there in the end. Take all. It's got zero value to it, so I don't want it. And now we go up. Cool. Notebook. I know there's stuff in here that would be really good to sell, so... Ooh. You never know when stuff like that might be handy, I guess. Feels like it's also slightly preparing me. How are you doing over there, Basco? Oh, we're outdoors. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Brogan. Hey, Brogan. What up, Brogan? I know that voice. I know that voice. I'm with uh, Constellation. You need to stop attacking the ship. That's right, I killed Barrett, so tell the pirate friends to back off. Enough talk, I have places to be, or what's your problem with Barrett anyway? Let's start with that. We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Hmm. Well then, I think there's only one way to go about this. Because they don't really care. They just want the ship. Let's try and be diplomatic. Oh. No. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. And it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The Damn. The frontier has been to many planets and moons. But the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I <laughs> don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Someone wasn't listening. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. Time to make the settled systems a safer place. I don't suppose we could just agree to disagree. No hard feelings. Let's try and be uh, a little bit funny. If he were here, Barrett would say he was proud of you for asking that. The answer well, thank is you. no. Right. Okay, then. You're not talking us out of this score. All right. Cool. Each to it. Okay, cool.
You have it wrong. Constellation is, a, is an explorer's group. They're not hunters. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me. Got three turns. Let's be ballsy. That's, uh, not a bad point. Isn't any treasure? We've been trailing that old believe that works. ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation. Scan creatures, minerals, planets, and plants. Each unique item. Scanner mode. Such as outpost and using so. Uh, okay. Cool. 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 Without Crimson Fleet interference. Okay, cool. But you can fast travel to it, so why wouldn't you? I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I know the idea of exploring Captain the map is really Man. cool, but still. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Cool. Right. But chat, before we do that, that is probably going to be it for today. Um, yeah, that was super fun. Let's head on over and uh, recap and just talk about what's what's been happening. Well, there we go, guys. That was the first part of our Starfield playthrough. Um, oh, my days. What a lot of fun. The PC coped absolutely fine. It was really fun, really enjoyable, super gameplay. I, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. I thought there was a chance that I would really have a lot of fun with it, but I also thought there was a potential that it was just going to be a lot of hype. And this was, this was a lot of fun. I cannot wait to continue playing more of the game. Um, I would also love to hear from you guys that have been playing it, what you've done differently. What kind of classes did you choose? What traits did you choose? How did you go about doing stuff was there anything you've done differently are there any tips that would be good for me to know moving forwards um because we're really going to be pushing on with the starfield content it's super enjoyable super fun i cannot wait to meet other characters go to other places and just explore and have that kind of fun um yeah, I, I've loved every minute of this. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed it. Uh, you can do that by hitting the button below. And, of course, don't miss the next stream. So make sure you hit the notification bell to get updated with all the upcoming videos. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk for too much longer. I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy your day. And I'm going to play more Starfield. So get ready because there are certainly more recordings coming. But this has been my initial thoughts. This has been my character creation. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I will see you soon. Goodbye now.